Hey de ho peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto and welcome back to Fallout 4. Welcome back at Cambridge Police Station. We decided uh, to join the Brotherhood of Steel that came uh, along in the last episode with a huge fucking airship. Ooh, yeah. That is not a huge airship, that is well, a smaller airship and that will bring us to... Uh, Pridwin, the Pridwin, that's what it was called. Alright. Ah, yeah, yeah. The locals. In that place, really, the locals are just ghouls. Who's shooting? Who who is the enemy anyway? And I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures yeah. our victory. You said uh we're going to war. The Brotherhood is going to war. Final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view. And I want it actually I wanted to ask against whom? Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Yeah, okay. So against the ghouls, against Against the Synths, against uh, what it's called, the Institute, maybe, I don't know. Is there anything I can shoot that one? Just gonna shoot anyway. Yeah, well, Dougie, you enjoy the ride? Cool, okay. Oh, what the fuck is a ship doing here? There it is, the Pridwin. Look at that, isn't that majestic? Damn. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Always. All right, okay. Tucked in, attend the briefing. Briefing, brief, deep briefing. Sorry. Can I go? Can I leave this? <laughs> How do I? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, all right. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission grant. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on the successful mission. Is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. orders, you are to remain on the crib and await further <laughs> instructions. Very good, sir. Ad victorium, Captain. <laughs> Ad victorium, Colonel. Doggy's just standing there like an idiot. He doesn't understand what's going on. The Institute it is. Okay, all right. okay, alright. Got that now. That actually is pretty good, because we want to fight the Institute anyway to get our son Sean back. <laughs> He's so bulky. Okay, where do we go up there then, huh? Hey, guys, what's going on? Weren't we gonna see Elder Maxon? Sir, your orders were to speak to Lancer Captain Kells. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I go? Sorry. First impression matters. Yeah, awesome. You're not my paladin. Where's my paladin? Where uh, so many suits? That's the room of some peeps here, and they have one computer for them to check in on the loved ones. That's cool. 
So, where is my loved one? Where is my paladin? Hey. Where did he go? Never forget. You are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. At hmm. Victorium, Squires. At Victorium. At Victorium. There. If children here. I do not know what I shall think of that. Your concerns are noted, scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow. Duct tape. Woo. What is this? A toy rocket ship. And a toy alien. Why? Would anyone want that? Okay, he's not here. Where, where is Paladin Dance? As much as I enjoy this place. What the f Fuck, super mutants. Oh, a Cotsworth. Could you sh shut up? I want to. Yeah. Didn't you want to hear about my experiment? No, actually not. Yeah, okay, let's hear. Are all these creatures yours? Well, they're an important part of my research, if that's what you mean. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad X. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code? The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see, the ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Why alter it for a short period of time? Why not do it permanently? Attempting to alter the genetic code permanently? That's too close to what happened with FEV and Spawn, the super mutant. I'm not willing to take a chance like that. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound, but unfortunately I've hit a stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. Hmm. Yeah, well, no problem. I'd be good to that. I appreciate I guess. your confidence in my abilities, brother. I've modified your Pip Boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. All right, so the others are not that open-minded. Well, he here. He seems like a pretty open mind. Okay, Paladin, are you that one? No. Can I have that armor? Do I get one? I need to get one. Set you up with whatever you need. After you have a little chat with Captain Kells first. Captain Kells, yes. About that. Is somewhere down here? No, I'm so lost. But I look good being lost. Look at me. <laughs> I just fit in perfectly with all these. <laughs> my hat, my glasses, and my fucking pajama that I'm still wearing. Great. Alright. Cafeteria. Oh, there you are. Dance. I have some reports to file, and you have a debriefing to attend. We'll talk later. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, you stay here then. Thanks for showing me around, man. Where is that meeting? Hey. I believe Captain Kells is waiting for you to report in. Mm, okay. Glad that everyone knows about... Mm, kitty! Kitty. He looks kind of creepy. Doggy, do you like kitty? You do not give a shit about kitty, okay. Where is... Kels, Kelly, Kel... I already forgot the name. Okay, somebody that looks important. 
You're just a guard. I should pay attention more often, huh? You know Elder Maxon? You don't look that elderly, though. <coughs> a red bandana, not a red banana. Ah. <laughs> Give the bandana to Doggy. Looking good, buddy. So, you are the guy. Why didn't you just You don't look much like a soul. Talk to me. Yeah, uh what what what's, what's wrong with my outfit? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past is playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin <laughs> Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Whoa. The fuck? Is that normal? No one wants to comment on that? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, exactly yeah. What is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly. And I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, I like your head. Was there anything else? That's cool. Was everything I said understood? Let's give it a... Is that orange? That is not yellow, right? So it's not easy. Let's try Can anyway. Come on. I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is oh, that you're oh. Ooh. Recon team provided us. Beyond that, Ooh, so much charisma. Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. Finally. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's yes. all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command. Now I didn't pay attention to what he said. <laughs> After which Elder Maxon wishes Fuck. to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Yeah, um... Elder Maxons. Uh, do I get a power knight armor? armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. Damn it! And you're no knight, not yet. Until but Elder I will be. Maxon grants I will you that be. title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Okay. Anything okay. Else? Always did. Can Elder you tell Maxon. Me about Elder Maxon. Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision. We'd still hmm. be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the citadel in the capital wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything okay. else? No, any sir. And I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Come on, Yogi. Elder Maximu. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation. The Sith, a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. 
Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. If it was up to me, I'd take every feral beauty and sin. Shoot no matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. Doggy, behave yourself. Okay, uh, actually, um, play with a very hot topic here. Uh, yeah, giving machines AI a free will. That is something that I care about them, you know. the people will come in reality too, I guess. That is a very interesting and very... Very fascinating and complicated topic. Yeah, okay, um... Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Wow, and that's befitting. That went fast. We're granting you a suit of power armor to protect uh, you on the field. Run, nice. Wear it with pride. I don't care about ranks. Whether you like it or not, you're going to have to get used to it. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff. Report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. How does everyone know about that? That's mine. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um, Good. Let's, let's go. go. Outstanding. Uh, Sent Dougie to Sanctuary. Bye, Dougie. He's going there on his own. <laughs> How will he just jump down the airship or what? Okay. I'm carrying too much. What the fuck did you give me? Oh my god, why don't I pay attention? Okay. Well, Dougie's gone. Got a new buddy. We're carrying too much and can't run. And we met Creepy Kitty here. That's 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 good for this episode, I guess. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you like watching, then please subscribe and stick around for more videos. And I will be happy to see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and peace out. I like this. It's cool. Ah. Okay, if you can repair it, I want to keep it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Whoops. That's the best. <laughs>